I don't get why people that are accept themselves being at the Truman Show are happier. Why is that? Well, I mean, following Woody Allen's uh, philosophy, the, I mean, the notion that I mean, it doesn't really matter what delusion you're subscribed to, but if you're successfully in, in deluding yourself, you're a happier human being than living without delusions and everything is real. It's kind of depressing. You, you let go of all of the problems and you can't, the things that you can't change, I think. Like, like if you're a religious Sorry, person, you, yeah, you can I, say I, it's I, God, like this is what God wanted to happen. I can accept it with a religious person, but I can't accept it. I have troubles accepting it with the Truman Show. Well, I mean, that would be sort of in the context of the of, of the media life argument that, that if you stop you know, like a lot of our thinking and research in this department and a lot of other departments is premised on keeping media at bay, protecting itself against their influences, uh, figuring out how they affect us, I mean, producing better content and messages. I mean, it's all wrapped up in this notion that we can control at some one way or another, keep it at a distance, make it, turn it into what it seems like, namely a, a machine that we can push buttons at. But you can argue, well, the moment you stop putting this at a distance, but accepting that whatever that is, is you, um, you become happier. You can have much more fun with media, and because you're in media. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not, I, again, I don't know what that means, but it's just, so it's to accept the delusion of, because obviously we're not media, but, but the delusion might, might be more inspiring or helpful or bring about more happiness than than the reality. So if you stop fighting it, you'll be happier. Yeah.